And if I said the name Robbie Novak, you probably don't know who that is. If I said kid president, chances are better that you know exactly who that is. The nine-year-old from West Tennessee has been a huge hit on YouTube from his witty skits to meeting the real president. Only on Fox I had a chance to sit down with this funny third grader who's got a serious message all while battling a rare disorder. It's time our country agreed on something. In his black suit and red tie, <laughs> his contagious laugh, his fancy footwork, there is a serious message from Robbie Novak, better known as Kid President. The world needs you to stop being boring. This pep talk video has more than 21 million views. His message, make the world less boring. Listen to your kids because they have important things to say and... It just matters if you're just... Nice to everyone. The concept of Kid President was the brainchild of his brother-in-law, Brad Montague, who was promoting an event at Freed Hardeman University in Henderson, Tennessee, where he works. And the next thing he and Robbie knew, the videos went viral. And Kid President became famous. My friends really don't care if I have fame or stuff. So. Since being in the spotlight, Kid President has been all over, from Hollywood to D.C. Here he is during an April Fool's joke at the White House. I made it to the White House. I'm here. What came a few days later was no joke when Kid President met the real president. It was really fun meeting the president. It was an honor. I think you're doing awesome. Coolest thing the president said to him? You keep doing what you're doing. And that's exactly what he's doing, going around the country and speaking to kids about making the world a better place. A regular stop on Robbie's tour is right here at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. He doesn't come here to entertain the kids. He's here as a patient. Robbie has a rare genetic bone disorder. In his nine years, he's had more than 70 broken bones. His attitude, in spite of some significant pain, lots of surgeries, has really been incredible. Dr. Jill Simmons is Robbie's doctor at Vanderbilt. He has what's called osteogenesis imperfecta, or brittle bone syndrome. Bones break easily by the slightest contact. Femur, tibia, collarbone, arm. That's a lot of broken bones. Goes without saying Robbie is banned from playing sports. At first, his adoptive parents, Laurie and David Novak, said no when Robbie asked for a bike. I said, you will break your legs, your arm, your head, your ribs. And he goes, nah, -uh, mama, because I already fell. I just didn't tell you, and I didn't break anything. <laughs> so. She calls him Evil Knievel in Humpty Dumpty's body. They're cautious on what Robbie can do, but they don't want to deny him of being a kid. And that includes wrestling around with his big sister, Alexia, who also has the same bone disorder. You may be older, but I'm stronger, and, that all, and that's all that matters. Every 13 weeks, Robbie comes to Vanderbilt Children's to get an intravenous infusion, a five-hour-long process to make his bones stronger. The infusions do a great job at decreasing fracture rate, decreasing bone pain. Dr. Simmons says the prognosis for Robbie and his sister is excellent. Both understand what they can and can't do. So if Robbie wants to be president someday, he can. But does he want to? No. Too hard. Too much paperwork. Well, his brother-in-law, Brad, says what's inspiring about Robbie isn't his bone condition, but the fact that his condition doesn't define who he is. And just recently, the Kid President team was given the Making Kids Count Media Award by the Tennessee Commission on Children and Youth.